Hey, what's up? Simply Recipes crew. We're cooking live. It's Tuesday. Hey, uh, Nick Evans here from machismo.com uh, and the contributor of the Eat Your Food column uh, for simplyrecipes.com. And, you know, I hop on here every Tuesday around lunchtime and cook something live. So give me a shout out, say hi, say where you're watching from. And we are gonna make some awesome fried rice today. So if you've never cooked fried rice or you know you don't know what it is and you wanna learn, this is it. It's gonna take like 15 minutes. It's about as fast as the recipe gets. So I think you'll like it. Hey Summer, what's up? Good to see ya. All right, I like to try, I'm gonna to try to do this. If I do it right, I can pull up uh, my, yes get my computer going here. So if you guys have questions, uh, leave a question and I will see it in the comments, hopefully, assuming I can do this right. And uh, and then that way I can see it and answer you, hopefully. I'm also gonna put a link to this recipe in the comments. Uh, let's see if I can do it real fast here. I'm trying to multitask. Okay. So this is the recipe that I'm going off of which is, it's a shrimp fried rice recipe. It's on simplyrecipes.com, so you can find it there. And what I like about it is, more than anything, it's like incredibly flexible. So, you know, if you don't have shrimp, you could use chicken, you could use leftover pork if you have it. Uh, you could leave out the meat entirely and just have like a vegetarian version. You could put almost any veggie you want in there. You want some peppers, throw them in. I like to use this mix that's like frozen peas and carrots. It's just easy, and I usually have it in my, fr in my freezer for my kids, so it's an easy add in there for, for quick dinners, so I like to use that for this. And you know, so yeah, we're gonna cook this thing. It's gonna be awesome. And we're gonna talk a lot about fried rice, what makes a good one, what makes a bad one. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. So step one on this guy is the shrimpies, right? So. The recipe calls for about eight ounces of shrimp. Um, that's about this, I kind of just eyeballed it. And basically what you want to do with these is, if you can get the small ones, that's cool. I could, I got kind of the larger ones today, which are like 24-ish per pound. Uh, so what I did is I peeled them, I cleaned them, and then I just cut them in half. And that'll just, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I liked like slightly smaller pieces in a fried rice, and that gives you that kind of small piece. So. So what we're gonna do with these right now is just season them. Oh, I'm gonna get my, hold on, let me get my pan hot. I'm using this little finicky cooker thing here. So we'll see how it goes. And we'll talk about pans in a minute, but you know, this is, I'm just doing this in a basic skillet today. So I like to season my shrimp, just a little black pepper, a little pinch of salt, let me get a spoon here so you just stir these together. And then kind of the secret ingredient that the recipe calls for here is cornstarch. You put um, a little bit of cornstarch on the shrimp and it kind of, it does a few things. It, it gives them like a little bit of a crispy coating, but it also kind of gets a sauce going for the, um, for the fried rice later. So yeah, so it's it's kind of a, a little trick. You could leave it out if you don't have it. I actually don't have cornstarch. Talked about this last week. I still don't have cornstarch. So what I did last week in the recipe I made was I used this stuff, which is like uh, starchy arrowroot flour. Super starchy, thickens stuff beautifully, good for gravies and sauces and stuff like that. And I am just gonna, it's like really dusty. I'm gonna just do a little bit of sprinkle on my shrimpies with that. It's experimental. I've never done this before, so why not do it live, right? So that goes on there, and that's just gonna kinda dry out the surface of the shrimp and give you like a better sear on them. So stir all that together. The recipe says to let that sit for 10 minutes. I don't have time for that, so we're not gonna do that today but we are gonna let our pan get pretty hot before we toss them in and, uh, and see how it goes. So Gabri says, really? Yes, really. We're gonna cook it live right now. We'll see how it goes. I don't know, it's probably gonna be fine, seriously. Shrimp fried rice is great. 
So pan's going. Let's talk rice real fast because once we start cooking this, it's gonna like go really fast. So I wanna talk about rice. Ideally, you would have some leftover rice that you could uh, use in this. If you ordered like Chinese takeout or something, you would have some leftover rice. If you're cooking rice just for this dish, which is what I did today, you wanna make sure that it is dry and that it is cool. So if you cook it, do not transfer it from a hot pan to a fried environment because it's not going to work. It's going to get sticky and weird and lumpy. Uh, so what I like to do, I cooked this about an hour ago and then I just spread it out on a baking dish like this and I put this in my fridge for a few, for like, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes and it dries out the rice and it also cools it down. So now it's perfect for fried rice basically. So that's, you know, if you want to cook it fresh, that's the way to cool it off really quickly. So you can go ahead and make the recipe, but ideally you would have leftover rice from the day before or something like that. That's really what fried rice is made for. So, so that's the idea. All right, let's see. So what else is going into this? We have some eggs. We're going to put some eggs in there. We have some of these peas and carrots that I mentioned. Boom, right? Easy. And we're going to do some, some green scallion, which gives it a nice, like kind of onion flavor as well. So we're going to chop those up in a minute and get those going. So, but step one, let's cook the shrimp. So I think we're pretty hot. If you ever want to test, you can just get a little water. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, it's sizzly for sure. Uh, Catherine says, how do you cook your rice for best results? Ooh, well, I don't use a rice cooker. Um, basically what I do is I rinse my rice really well. A lot of times people don't rinse their rice well enough. I rinse it until it's basically completely clear water. And then I cover the rice in a pot with a little, just like about an inch, maybe half an inch of water, bring it to a simmer, cover it, let it simmer for like eight to 10 minutes. And then uh, I kind of just stir it, test it, and kind of just watch it until it gets to the consistency I want. If I have too much water in the pan, I drain a little bit of water off, cover it, steam it for five minutes, fluff it, that sounds like a lot of work. It's really not that hard. Um, I think there's a rice tutorial on Simply Recipes. You can look that up if you uh, Google it. So, okay, my pan's really hot. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of oil in the pan. Now I'm using olive oil here, but you could use vegetable oil, corn oil, I don't know, saffron, safflower oil, whatever you want, right? And then my shrimpies are going in. So, single layer in the skillet, right? And these are gonna cook super fast. So I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a bowl because we're gonna take them out really fast. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you can see all this, makes sense. Let me know if you have questions. Amos says hi, hello Amos. We're making shrimp fried rice. It's getting loud in here. Hopefully you can still hear me. The sizzle is real. Uh, wait, I need a spatula. All I like, I like these little wooden, if you ever get one of these, these are awesome. They're like, they're like thin little wooden spatulas and they're great for stuff like this because they're really sturdy. They're not like a plastic kind of flimsy one, but they're, they got some real strength to them, you know? So this has been, these are almost seriously cooked. Uh, I'm just gonna like stir them a little bit. Oh yeah. Close to being done. Uh, the next thing that's going in our skillet is the egg actually. So let me just whisk that up. We're gonna do egg, and then rice, and then toss it all together. If it takes you longer than about five minutes to make fried rice, you're doing it wrong. Now you could, um, you can use any kind of skillet for this really, just for this step. No, normally I have like a big wok situation if I'm making a lot of this, but if you're making just like a small, 
serving, uh, a nice little skillet like this is super easy to use and, you know, nothing sticks to it. Boom. So our shrimpies are like pretty much done. What was that, like a minute, 90 seconds? Uh, Kelly asks, can you use instant rice? Um, yeah, absolutely. You can. It's not my favorite because instant rice has a tendency to get really mushy when you reheat it. Um, so you just have to make sure that it's really dry, but it'll probably work okay. I, it's not my favorite, but, uh, but it's, if it's all you have, absolutely you can use it. It'll, it'll be okay. All right, so, boom. Shrimpies, out. Now, if your skillet's really dry at this point, mine is looking a little dry, I'm just gonna add a little bit extra oil there. And then I'm gonna go in with my eggs. These are gonna cook super fast, right? And then also, while my eggs cook, I'm gonna chop these guys up so they're ready to go because they're next on the list. I don't know if you can see me. I'm over here chopping. Perfect. So I chopped up like two green onions. I like them. They're great. Uh, spicier is better. Oh yeah, cast iron wok. Farrell says a cast iron wok. Yeah, if you have one of those, man, this is the dish. Okay, so our eggs are basically cooked. Right? And I'm just gonna kind of like chop them a little bit roughly. And then I'm gonna add them to my bowl with the shrimp. So this is kind of like my finished cooking bowl. Now my pan has some like egg stuff in it. I'm just gonna try to scrape out some of that because it'll burn. I don't really wanna wash my skillet because that'll kinda of kill the heat that we have built up, but just, you know, try to get it kinda of clean. Um, and then, again, a little more oil. Oil? I can't see the word oil today for some reason. I don't know. It's a weird day. Everything's weird. Hope you guys are safe. Scallions going in. These are like five seconds, right? You just want to give them a little color. Can't see you chopping. I chopped these, that's all I did. I just chopped up these little scallion guys. Boom. Pretty easy recipe, you guys. I love fried rice though. My family likes it too. My kids, my kids absolutely, um, absolutely like it. Gabri says, you are a good cooker. <laughs> well, I try. Thank you though, thank you. Um, we'll see how it turns out. It's it's weird. Uh, cooking live is always kind of tricky, so hopefully it works out. Hopefully my fire alarm doesn't go off. That happens sometimes. Okay, these are done. So you might ask why I'm removing everything from the skillet and putting it in this bowl as I cook it. It's because I don't, if I leave anything in the skillet, it's just going to burn because the skillet's like super hot. So if I, I don't want I don't want to leave stuff in there too long right now, um, and we'll toss it all together later. But right now it's just like cook it, get it out, cook it, get it out, cook it, get it out. So next thing up is the rice. So this I'm gonna add a good glug of oil for, and then this is the part that where the recipe gets its name, right? So we're gonna put in the rice, and the recipe what does it call for like? Uh, four cups of rice. So I'm making kind of like a half batch of this recipe. So I'm gonna kind of do like two cups. And the key is you wanna spread it out on the skillet, right? So you don't want like a big pile of rice anywhere. And if you're careful, you can actually kind of use your hand to kind of spread it out. So I don't need quite all this rice. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Okay. 
And now the most important part of fried rice. Just don't do anything for a minute. Just let this kind of, just kind of chill, right? Underneath there, the rice is like literally frying in that oil. It's getting a little bit crispy. And uh, if you stir it too much, then what'll happen is you'll just make, it'll, it'll actually get kind of like cake, like gloopy. If you've ever had fried rice that like is too sticky, it's probably because there was like too much water or the people didn't like, they stirred it too much. So, you know, just chill with it. Uh, yes, you can use avocado oil. I like, I like olive oil. You can, it's actually kind of a myth that you can't cook with olive oil. Um, I cook with olive oil all the time and get it super hot. And as long as you have good quality olive oil, um, it doesn't have a lot of stuff particulates in it. It actually is great. So I cook on high heat with olive oil all the time. I've like seared scallops in olive oil, cooking high heat with it all the time. No big deal. But yeah, you can use avocado oil. I also like that. Works really well. Marta's on. Hey, what's up, Marta? Thanks for joining. All right. Um, so I'm almost going to stir this. You can kind of take a peek and see how you're doing. Close. I need some soy sauce too. Hold on. Uh, I think I'm somewhere. I don't want you to see my fridge. It is like embarrassing right now. Okay. Uh, a little bit of soy sauce. We'll need that in a minute. So we have everything, I think. Our shrimp are cooked. Our eggs are cooked. Scallions, a little saute on those. We have our peas and carrots. We haven't talked about those yet, but they're going to go in. They're already cooked. So I use the frozen ones. It's super easy. Um, rice is being fried right now. So recipe pretty much done, right? Hold on. I like these on top. Sesame seeds. I like a plate. I'm gonna show you guys how to plate this like a like a boss. Hold on. That'll come into play in a minute. Okay, we're gonna stir this. Ready? Oh, wait, I want you to see that first stir. So see how when I stirred it, the bottom of that rice is kind of like a little, it's got a little crispiness to it. That is what you need. Willow says, I love your glass cabinetry. This is not mine. Unfortunately, we are currently living in my mother-in-law's house. Um, long story, but we're doing a massive home renovation. Hopefully in four months, I will have a beautiful new kitchen where these will be filmed in. But for the time being, we are in, a, in my mother-in-law's condo. So yeah, she has great taste. I don't know. Sorry, I'm stirring. You can do a little toss if you want, right? And you know you, you, know you did it right if you're, um, I'm gonna turn down my heat a little bit now. You know you did it right if your rice is nicely separated. So I don't know if you can see it, but when I toss it, the, the kernels of rice are not like stuck together at all. They're, they're really nice and separate is good. Cool. This is perfect. All right. So I'm going to hit this with a little bit of soy sauce right now. <laughs> Will, Willow is a long time. She used to watch me do these in my old kitchen. Uh, yeah. So I hope, Willow, I hope you like the new kitchen because it's, it's going to be awesome. So a little bit of soy sauce in there. We're going to go in next with our peas and carrots. This is a little bit too much. I'm going to do like half of this. There we go. Those carrots are kind of big. I probably should have chopped them a little bit. Oh. Well. Cool. And then in with all the other stuff. So here we have the shrimp, the scallions, the eggs. That's all going in. And then that's what this is why I really like this wooden spatula. You can really kind of like get those eggs chopped up a little bit. And then just toss everything together. Oh man, this looks great. Woo! Shrimp fried rice! Uh, Farrell says, how do you cook your shrimp without them being overcooked and rubbery? Well, that's why I take them out. So if you if you were to leave them in this for like the whole time, they would be just 
like a piece of rubber in your mouth. So they cook super fast for like a minute aside and then they're done and then get them out of the pan. Don't leave them in a hot pan if they're done and then you can put them back in later. So a lot of people think that shrimp fried rice is like you have to leave everything in the pan and like build it, build it, build it. Cook it, take it out, cook it, take it out, cook it, take it out. And then you can put everything back in at the end. That's my, that's my thing anyway. Oh yeah, I know it's Diane says <laughs> it's hard to see, but I have like a little cooktop thing that also happens to be black and my countertops are black. So it looks like I'm magically just like cooking on a black countertop, but there's like a stove here. So yeah, but here we go. This is it. So let me show you a little trick. If you want to like get kind of kitschy like they do, uh, like a Benihana's or something, right? So you can get a little bit of, oh, I forgot. I'll use this for this. I like a little sesame oil in mine too. You can hit, add that right at the end if you want, just a little. And also I'm gonna put a little sesame oil in this coffee cup, like that. And then take a paper towel and kind of just get all around the bottom and the edges. Make sure it's a clean coffee cup. You don't want like coffee flavor in your fried rice. But this is kind of a cool thing. And then just pack in your fried rice in the coffee cup. You can do this with a bowl, obviously, too, but a coffee cup's kind of fun. And if you have a good spatula, you like really kind of press on it. You want it to actually compact a little bit in there. Yes. Pretty good. Okay. Moment of truth. Are you ready? Out. Oop, almost. It's not going to work. Well, it kind of worked. <laughs> well, I made a mountain. Not bad, not bad. Sometimes it's prettier. I think the shrimp were a little big for that to work. <laughs> anyway, little sesame seeds on top, right? Um, Sandra asked for this serving. So I did about two cups of rice for this. The full, re the full recipe is four cups. I kind of cut it in half, so it makes a lot. But also fried rice is delicious and you can eat a lot of it too. So hold on, I'm gonna get a fork. Boom. So check this out. This is delish. It was like a few minutes, right? What cook setting are you using? High heat, everything. High heat, high heat. And the recipe for this. Oh. Mm. Oh, this is really good. Perfect. The shrimp is perfect. What I, the most important thing about a good fried rice, notice how the grains of rice, it's not stuck. Nothing is stuck together. So everything is like, you know, like separate still, which is perfect. You don't want it clumpy at all. I hate a clumpy fried rice. Yeah. Mmm. Mm, it's so delicious. This is going to be my family's dinner tonight. Super excited about it. And it is a keeper of a recipe for sure. Super easy to make. And, uh, you know, I hope you like it. So if you want the full recipe, if you scroll up in the comments, I, um, I left a link to the recipe. I can, I guess I can link it again. Hold on. Ow. Don't touch that like that. Ow. Okay. This is what I get for trying to use a computer and a stove at the same time. Okay. Hold on. There, I posted it again in the comments. So that's the full recipe. And uh, like I said, I, I for this version, I cut it about in half, kind of just eyeballed it. But um, the full recipe makes a lot. And obviously you could add a little more shrimp if you want, a little more veggies if you want, kind of make it your own. The most important thing is the order, like cook the stuff in the order, take it out. Don't try to get too much stuff in the pan at once and it'll work out beautifully. So um, if anybody has any other questions, feel free to shoot me an email if you want. Send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, if you want to send me a message, I'm at machismo. 
M-A-C-H-E-E-S-M-O. I can do that in the comments too, I think. There we go, that's my face right there. Okay, so you can see me there if you wanna follow me. Um, I post recipes there also, so, um, you know, yeah, anyway. Oh, uh, JD says, I don't recall seeing you salt in the rice. I'm assuming the soy sauce had enough salt. Yes, that's right. And kind of depending on the recipe, you know, I have, I do make fried rice sometimes where I'll salt the rice itself. Um, it kind of just depends. In this case, I salted the shrimp with salt and pepper pretty liberally. So that had some seasoning in it and I used soy sauce at the end, so it works out. You know, you could always, you can always hit it with a little extra salt and pepper uh, at the end, a little extra soy sauce at the end too. All that is is fine. I, you know, I try not to over season stuff at the beginning, um, but it worked out. This is really delicious. So, and it was like super fast. So I hope you liked it. Anyway, um, I gotta run, I gotta walk my dog. So I hope you guys have a great week. I will be back next week. And I believe next Tuesday is Cinco de Mayo. So you might be able to predict what's on the menu, but we'll be cooking it live uh, next Tuesday. So hope you guys have a great week. Stay home if you are still in a stay home area and stay safe and um, see you soon. Cook some good stuff. Talk later, bye.